is Eva Bestias here, and welcome to my second episode of GBB Dropolis, where I'd be well be comparing two games that were released since the same year to one another to see if which one's better and worth getting. And, what, and this is the second episode where I'll be look, comparing Pinfall 3D Beyond the Jungle to Crash Bandicoot 3 Walt. And some of you might be wondering, GBB Studios? Why does Pinfall 3D have a case but Crash Bandicoot doesn't? Well, it's because I accidentally lost the Crash Bandicoot 3 Walt case. Sorry, but the, I checked the disc before and it worked fine, I'm sure. Without any further ado, let's look at Pitfall 3D. Developed by Sound Deluxe and published by Activision. Now, Pitfall 3D is an asymmetric 3D platform game similar to Crash Bandicoot, which might be the reason I'm comparing it to War. Where instead of playing as Crash himself, you play as this Injan Jones wannabe called Pitfall Harry, who's voiced by the excellent Bruce Campbell, who, who funnily enough, voiced the narrator in the 2002 Spider Man game, which in fact was a previous episode I covered on this channel. And like like in Spider Man, he's got some really funny dialogue. I mean, just listen to some of it. I don't look for adventure. Sometimes it just finds me. Like when I was swinging through the South American jungle and I saw this yeah crystal. And when I grabbed it, the rift opened up. Europe, cute little mobile. She started gabbing out about this pure energy stuff called Lucifer. It needs two flavors. Showtime! Anyway, back to game. As I mentioned, it plays like Crash Bandicoot but with major differences. Instead of having the spin attack, you have to rely on using this pickaxe to attack enemies. You can also summon vines, which Crash Bandicoot didn't do until I think Crash the Titans, I believe. And you'll also notice that I know Crace to smash instead you just have to collect these jewels instead of the Wampa fruit. You'll also notice that, and similar to, and unlike Crash Bandicoot, Pitfall 3D has a bigger emphasis on combat, where instead of like jumping on enemies or spinning on them, you have to use your pickaxe to attack them, such as these annoying fairy spinning things, which are hard to kill most of the time. By the way, instead of an Aku Aku mask like in Crash Bandicoot, you have a health bar which goes down when you uh, get attacked by an enemy. When it runs low, you lose a life, of course, isn't that the rules of games? Speaking of lives, you collect the lives are represented by a number of boots you can find. Hmm, when, I, when I lose all my boots, does Harry appear barefoot? Now, as you'd expect from a Crash Bandicoot knockoff, there are some inferior qualities. For, for size the controls, the first problem you're going to have with the controls is how to move. You see, instead of using the right anal left analog stick, like this in many other games we play today, you have to use the directional buttons to control Harry. Why can't I use the, right, the left analog stick? Cortex Strikes Back allowed you to use a left analog stick and that was released in December 1997 and this game came out several months before Crash Bandicoot warped its sequel. Hmm. I'm guessing Sound Deluxe was. I'm guessing Sound Deluxe didn't uh, know about Crash Bandicoot. Well, the, apart from the gameplay, but not the controls. Well, at least you can still press X to jump and square to attack. So maybe I'm not being that harsh towards controls. But it's not all bad, you know. Well, you can roll instead of Crash's trademark slide. <laughs> so funny. And as I mentioned, you will have to attack enemies with the pickaxes. Like Crash 3, which came out late before, months before, you have various items you can use, such as this, uh, such as this, this shockwave attack, which damages enemies. And again, you collect lives for boots. And, and another major difference thing apart from Crash Bandicoot is that the levels are, mo are more big to traverse and are not linear so 
but they do have some objective markers to make it more easy to traverse but but sometimes you there's some kind of backtracking you have to do it can, can get quite annoying for those expecting it to be like Crash Bandicoot and once again you don't have a mask so don't worry about so if you expect this to be like Crash Bandicoot and you're worried you might die from getting hit once don't worry because you've got a health bar which you can regenerate by going into this energy wave thingy well that's enough Pitfall 3D let's move on now I've talked about Pitfall 3D enough let's look at Crash Bandicoot 3 Warped Developed by Naughty Dog and published by Universe Interactive Studios and Sony Computer Entertainment. Now Crash Bandicoot 3 is, well... If you played a Crash Bandicoot game up to Crash to Insanity, then you've already played this one. Plays Crash Bandicoot, of course. Collecting Wumper Fruit, of course. Crash Bandicoot, you expect. But it does have some qualities that knock new innovations and better qualities that knock Pitfall 3D out of the park. For example, you can use the right analog stick, much like the previous Crash Guard Bandicoot game, Cortex Strikes Back. Or you can use the directional buttons, but, pers but personally I'd use this, which is something Pitfall 3D didn't have, so it knocks Pitfall 3D out of the park for the, in the controls department. And what else? Now by defeating certain bosses you get to unlock some cool power-ups and weapons such as this bazooka which shoots a wampa through. As well as the ability to sprint which is useful for the time trials which I'll mention later. Such as a helicopter spin which, which kind of functions like Rayman's helicopter hair. But instead of holding the X button which you can now double jump in this game. You have to repeatedly press square, like you have to mash it in order to glide. It's a minor nitpick, but it works pretty well. I mean, Crash is good at spinning, so he's also good at gliding. Yeah. Well, besides the new weapons and the new, new gliding ability, Nothing has really changed much in terms of Crash's gameplay. So, what else does it have? There's also levels where we just sound the water, we have to swim using a scuba kit. Again, something Pitfall 3D lacked. So it can easily beat Pitfall 3D, but and if you swim through as you can in these levels, you have to swim through the levels. Avoiding the puffer fish and the mines. What else is there? Well, there's lots, so brace yourself. There's also a, um, a motorcycle which you can ride, which has terrible controls. And I hate these levels because trying to outrun, trying to outrun these people is so annoying. And watch out for the holes because I can fall. I fall in them a lot when I used to play these back then. There's also some levels where you have to spot pilot a spaceship, a jet ski, and a bat and a nice plane. Your barrel. New to this game is that you can play as Coco Bandicoot, Crash's sister who debuted in the previous game, as she rides on a pet tiger. And has a few levels such as a jet ski and the spaceship I mentioned earlier. In Warped there are some bonus content besides the, the, um, the, weapon, the new weapons and the powers. By completing time trials and levels you get to unlock some new levels that aren't part of the game story which can be played to earn more relics. with some levels such as Ski Crazed and Rings of Power 
Pitfall 3 on the other hand has only one unlockable, which is the original Pitfall game which you can unlock by entering this cheat code in the password menu. It's basically the same Pitfall game from 1982 which I played on this channel. If you want to, if you want to see that video, I'll put a link to it in the description. So, which game is the best? Crash Bandicoot 3 Warped. It's a great game with lots of new powers and weapons to unlock, with long as new fun vehicles. But Pitfall 3D, sadly, fails to be as good as Crash. That doesn't mean it's a bad game. It's just not to well. Pitfall 3D is a fun game as long as you don't you clear your mind of it being better than Crash Bandicoot 2, according to its back. But if you want to play a game with an Ninja Jones S game on the PlayStation, you're not going to get a result there. Uh, Pitfall 3D, the Lost Ex, uh, sorry, uh, Pitfall 3D Beyond the Jungle. But personally, if you like a good solid platforming game on the PlayStation, then get Crash Bandicoot Warped. Only get Pitfall 3D if you're interested in Indiana Jones and like the first Crash Bandicoot game. Well, that's the end of this video. Make sure you hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe. This is Epic Base Studios, signing off.